So I had to stop and take a little bit of a breather from flipping at Pinball Expo. Came back to my hotel room, even made my bed, you're welcome. But I have to share my first initial impressions of the Labyrinth Pinball Table. I'm a huge Labyrinth fan, huge David Bowie fan. I mean, for Christ's sakes, I named my kid after the man. Uh, Halloween costume last year, my wife, the baby, we all did the whole nine yards. She was Sarah from the ballroom scene. I was Jareth from the ballroom scene. Of course, baby was babe with the power. You know it. If you love Labyrinth, you're familiar with the theme. Obviously, I was super excited when Barrels of Fun kind of came out of nowhere as this new company coming out with one of my absolute dream themes. Not only did they come out with a dream theme, they did it in spades. So having played it today, the first thing I wanted to absolutely check out was build quality. I mean, it's a brand new company out of left field. We didn't really know anything about their manufacturing process, so it, it you know, begs the question, is this held together by spit and duct tape or is this a quality build? Thankfully, in my personal experience, having some time with it this morning, it is a quality build. Nothing was rattling, nothing was loose. There weren't parts and pieces flying off the pinball machine. There wasn't anything rattling or, you know, just click clacking around where it shouldn't be. Everything operated as it should. It's got lots of functionality going on at this table. There's diverters, there's magnets, there's, you know, scoops, there's all sorts of activities on this play field where things can go wrong. Um, Thankfully, that's not the case. I mean, I had a very good initial first impression just looking at the machine and then actually having an experience of playing it. Um, as far as the feel, the flippers to me kind of felt in between uh, American Pinball and Stern. Not quite at the highest, you know, snappiness of Stern, but not quite super soft like something like Jersey Jack Pinball or anything like that. Um, I was very satisfied with the snap of the flippers. I will tell you that right ramp that has a very cool, satisfying little kind of squirrely corkscrew around, um, very hard to hit. It's very inviting but you gotta get some oomph and get a very clean shot to make it all the way up that ramp. I had a lot of them go up and straight back down. So it was very challenging, but shots and layout wise, I absolutely love this design. Um, as part of theme integration, it does an exceptional job with kind of choosing your own path and each shot kind of changes. Basically the only stagnant shot on the whole play field is the big right ramp. Everything else is gonna have options where things open or change or divert a different path depending on the modes or you know what's going on in the play field. There's even a magnet down there that kind of throws in some randomness. There's also a third slingshot up top with the LO worm, which I think is awesome. It you know kind of integrates a lot of that chaos that pop bumpers normally would. This play field doesn't have a pop bumper, which is fine by me, but that third sling kind of integrates some of that randomness. So if you're missing pop bumpers, you'll kind of get a little bit of that same feel from that third sling. Uh, it's just a wonderful, unique layout. I like it. It does have some similarities to other pinball machines. Of course, what pinball machine doesn't, but I found it very unique, very great theme integration. Like I said, again, going back to the whole choosing your path through the labyrinth, choosing your shots, where they go, where they divert to. I think that's an exceptional job. Scoring and everything on the back glass is pretty straightforward. It was very obvious with the callouts and things what I was supposed to be doing. Basically shoot the white shot, spell out Labyrinth. Um, you see that in the secondary LCD, which is very cool. Although I will say, I, I do hope in future code updates that it gets more um, polished as far as what's going on in that secondary LCD. Uh, by no means is it stagnant, but I think it could be a little more integrated as far as what is going on with the rule set and what's being you know, done and shot on the play field itself. But spell Labyrinth, once you spelled Labyrinth, you're gonna activate and start the mode by shooting the U-turn behind the wise man. And then it starts one of the many modes in this game. The modes are great. Um, one of my personal favorites is the Fireys. Obviously, you know, if you're familiar with the movie, they bounce around, they're losing their heads and everything like that. And there's two Fireys on the play field. There's one in the very back right hand corner, and there's one in the apron. And these go up and down and in and out constantly during the Fireys mode. And I thought that was exceptionally coded, excellent theme integration. It just, you know, it's one of those chef kiss moments that really ties in with the movie. And I thought it was exceptionally well done. Um, other modes I got to play was the Oubliette, as well as the Knockers, and I even got to play a couple multi-balls. Very fun game, sound, music, everything was great. Another thing I thought was really cool that was coded was on the back board itself, you have the Labyrinth speaker grills, which is really cool, and these also come with RGB speaker lights, but not only does it come with speaker lights, those speaker lights actually integrate with what's going on in the game. If there's uh, you know, the two door guards, one's red and one's blue, uh, you've got a speaker light that's going to turn blue and one's going to red and it, they're going to integrate different colors with what's going on with the game and I thought that was, you know, again, another one of those finer detail touches that really kind of sets this game apart from other things out there on the market. Sure, you can get some speaker lights from pretty much any pinball machine you want, but will it be integrated into the code aspect of what is going on in the playfield? No. 
Also got to take a firsthand in-person look at the accessories that are being offered. First thing, the shooter rod, the nipper shooter rod. It is bulky, it is hideous, it sticks out a mile, but man, it is spot on as far as the actual sculpting details of the nippers from the movie. Probably a little too bulky for most people, but they really nailed the details when it comes to the authenticity of the look of this nipper shooter rod. And the alternative back glass designed by Johnny Crap, uh, it looks great. Me personally, I honestly still prefer the David Bowie stock OEM back glass on there, but to each their own, I know there's a lot of people that probably don't like the look of it, you know. Jareth Goblin King holding a giant crystal ball and they want to go with the alternative back glass art. Either way, it's a win. If you ask me, they're both great artworks, but you definitely get more characters on the back glass of the alternative option. As well, we got to talk about the topper. Now, the topper is what absolutely blew me away seeing it in person. I was, you know, sh shocked beyond belief when I saw the price point online for good reason. I, you know, thousand dollars is a lot of money, but it's also comparatively to everything else in the market far and away better looking than what is out there currently. Like a lot of manufacturers are offering you acrylic plastic with some LED strips for $1,000. Not necessarily a value when you compare it to these three goblin heads that have LED lights and rotate and are you know hand sculpted and they look just like they were pulled from the film for $1,000. This thing is, oh my God, I can't talk about just how much I love that freaking topper being a fan of the movie. I can't see people buying this pinball machine and not wanting this topper if you're a fan of the movie. I mean, it just looks amazing. Uh, there's speech callouts coming from the goblins. Topper, it, it just uh, it blew me away seeing this in person. Like, I almost want to buy it just to have as a collectible, even if I don't buy the pinball machine. Spoiler alert, yeah, I'm gonna need this in my life for sure. So the question now is, what do I get rid of at my home and my collection to make room for this pinball machine? Because yeah, I definitely need to place a pre-order for the Labyrinth pinball machine. If you got to play it at Expo or if you've seen the pictures online, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of the Labyrinth pinball. I know it is a niche theme, but again, like I said, it is a perfect niche theme for me. Something I've been dreaming about. Value wise, I definitely think we're getting a lot of bang for a buck. It kind of feels like we're getting basically a stern LE for almost a premium price. You're getting powder coating armor, which looks phenomenal. You get a secondary LCD that's built into the play field itself. You got the RGB speakers, you got upgraded speakers, upgraded subwoofer, you got three flippers, metal ramps galore, diverters, magnets, you name it. So it definitely feels like a premium product. So yeah, I, I cannot believe how well Barrels of Fun have done with their initial outing for the Labyrinth pinball machine. Uh, shout out to them. I absolutely am going to be a supporter of those guys for sure. Born and raised in Houston, Texas myself. I love it. We have a new manufacturer coming straight out of Houston, Texas. So that's again, another, you know, chalk line in the pro tally mark side for me personally, but absolutely super impressed with it. If you guys are at Expo, definitely check it out. You'll, I'm sure, see some long lines because this is definitely a hit of the show, but it's definitely worth the long wait. I assure you, very fun game, especially if you're a Labyrinth fan, you're absolutely gonna love this table. Great job, Barrels of Fun Pinball. Guys, if you've seen the pictures online or if you're at Expo and you've played it, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot. Oh,